Flash. Well, yeah. actually, actually, if you step in line behind Fat Flash, you're not going to be able to see the target of your anger. So you exactly. can't. Exactly, Fat Flash will sit on him and smother him, so they have no chance. Oh, I don't care. Like Fat Flash, Stinky Flash, I, I don't have time <laughs> to escape either one of these. I'm not worried. Plum his ass, Flash. That's right. Po- possibly. Uh, let, let's talk about a more negative, positive subject. Professional <laughs> wrestling. No. Uh, that song you just played, one of my favorites, Bring Out Your Dead. Ah. Now, do you remember uh, the rock hunt back at Firehouse 13 when we actually, the Chuckles and Laugh show started to flood the crowd with zombies? Uh, I th- that, that, was, <laughs> that wasn't at Firehouse 13. That was at Rhode Island College, if I'm not mistaken. Wasn't no. it right at... Or am I mistaken? No, I believe it was at FET. It was That's at one, FET. That was a night. Room. That was a night we went from award nominated to award winning. Okay. Tony yeah. Jones and the Cretan okay. Three. All right. So, all right. So, Firehouse Thirteen was a preliminary round of the. Yeah, because we did do Rock it there Hunt. too. But we at FET we had like However, a horde. However, at FET with this sort of zombies, we were one day removed from the Boston bombings. <laughs> <laughs> and I bring in all these half dead people to walk around. <laughs> because we're that hey, kind of hey, class. It, <laughs> it was great. The crowd loved it. There was people dancing with oh, zombies. Yeah. I so mean, so are you saying that our karma with all those dead people like initiated helped, helped bring about the Boston bombings? No, was this was one day after, after. One day after the Boston oh, bombings. After the that, bo- oh thank goodness. Yeah, that, that Yeah, we don't we don't want to be accused of um, so, so yeah. when you guys are back out playing again, I will have that horde of zombies well, actually, ready if I had, for your entertainment. Actually, if I had realized that, if I had realized it was one day after the Boston bombings, I would have requested zombies missing arms and legs. Well, we could have done zombie joggers. There we go. Yeah, that, that, here we go with the hate mail again. <laughs> Why not? You can get a punch in the face, too, while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> we all get punches in the face. Yeah. That's Why right. not? Now, <laughs> on the plus side, it took us to the end of the show to say something so offensive and revolting <laughs> that the hate mail is going to flow like wine on oh, menstrual yeah. teeth. I, I'm, I'm going to go see Mike Tyson and take boxing lessons so I can be <laughs> hated Bite, and be able to lessons. fight. Yeah. Hey, I'm a very good biter, so uh, I'm Chuckles, good. What do you want to get on? We, we're, 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 we're we have down to, to the end of the show. We though, have so what to advertise do? this, and it's her one job, and she's failing at it miserably. Okay. what? what uh, come uh, on, Nurse Missouri. Uh, uh, yes, we uh, do your thing. Yeah. Come on, one job. So they're coaxing and prodding at the fact that the Rhode Island Free Radio's one-year anniversary party is coming up on September 5th at 8 p.m. Doors have a $10 donation. It is an all-ages event located at Firehouse 13, which is 41 Central Street in Providence. There'll be 50-50 raffles, vendors. Food is going to be provided by Outlaw Barbecue. It will be emceed by Chuckles the Clown. Narragansett Beer will be donating to the raffle, and there will be bands of which I can pronounce this time. We will have the Nymphidels, the Sugar Cones, Whiskey Fire, John Tierney, and Chris Hansen. And the way go. the timing lines up, you might actually get to see George Garner in his security uniform. Because, <laughs> right, you usually have to fly off to uh, third shift on Saturdays. Uh, yes, I do, but this time, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I'm uh, being assigned to third shift a little later these days, but yeah, it, it could happen. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll try to substitute um, the security logo with an SS lightning bolt or something. Just, wow. But, a little shout out to Joey the Butcher. <laughs> yeah, a little shout out to Joey the Butcher, Ace Freely, who's, uh, yeah, who's going to be where? Uh, Lupo's and... Uh, At the Big E, that's right, Ace Freely now playing County yeah. Fair. And you and know who he, else... This is great, and I was just going through the list of foods for the big, uh, the big E. Of course, you know we're fans, and right. uh, uh, I was also looking at the other entertainment offerings. DJing right before Ace Freely, I believe, will be Paris Hilton. Yes, Paris Hilton <laughs> is now appearing at wow. county fairs. Uh, are you serious? Here man? we go. And she, and I must see this. She's just emceeing. She's uh, going to DJ. So you'll have. The world. Remember the year we went to the Big E and the world's smallest horse took the world's biggest dump in I front re- of us. I remember that. I, we were all impressed. So you'll have a chick hatchery, the right. world's smallest horse, the world's biggest fried slut. Oreos on a stick, the world's biggest slut, Ace Freely, and Ace Freely. <laughs> <laughs> you remember when I pissed so, Ace Freely off? That yeah. was great. With William uh, Forte in front of us, we're standing in line, oh. and uh, William sitting there, and the lines had gotten mixed up, and. Uh, 
rock and this shock. This was what, a rock and shock? Yeah, it was yeah. like, who's here to see Ace Freely and here, who's here to see William? And I, on the top of my you lungs. You can't say what you said. I said, oh. F Ace Freely. <laughs> I am here to see William. And Ace Freely was really upset. He had turned red in his face, and I thought I was going to get punched in the face by an iconic Kiss by, and that would have given me a reason to hate him afterwards. But you already hate he Kiss. did not. That's why I said f him. I hated him then too. <laughs> and you know, William felt the same way because he's like, yeah, f him. He didn't care either. I don't know. Has anybody? I guess this is too obscure, but I mean, Ace Freely is actually a uh, Nazi aficionado. Did not know that. Um, yeah, apparently, the people, the rednecks that booked the Big E, don't either. <laughs> but uh, oh. yeah, so it was Ace Freely that invented the Kiss logo with the SS lightning bolts, the two S's. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That was <clears throat> Ace Freely. <laughs> so yeah, so we have a, a Nazi aficionado who is going to be following Paris Hilton <laughs> at an American iconic. When's this fair again? Because I think I got to go. Of course you do. Fry butter. Can we like broadcast live from the Big do, E? Does any do you? Know what a turducket is? Yes, yes, it's good. Turkey stuffed inside a duck, <laughs> stuffed inside a chicken. That's, that sounds obscenely. Well, actually, that's chicken goes <laughs> talk the about dog bizarre. The duck goes in the turkey. They're going to be offering turducken sandwiches, and in true county fair form, you can have your turducken sandwich deep fried. Chuckles Tork- is having it, and then he'll die. Tork- going. That sounds like a bizarre sexual interaction to me. <laughs> yeah, turkey inside a duck. We've had one for Christmas before. It's With good. poor Creole stuffing. The stuffing was nasty. <laughs> All right. All I can say is that the Big E Fair has moved far away from the corn pone Americana that it represented in previous <laughs> years. That's, that's all I can say. Oh, we are so going to this. <laughs> Let me out on uh, good uh, leave. Tony, how are we, we doing for time We here, should all go. Way? We should make a Rhode Island free radio trip to the, yes. uh, to the Big E. I think. That's carpool. <laughs> I agree. Tony, how are we doing for time? We're at 52 minutes past the hour. Okay. All right. Let's throw some more music in here. Let's go, um, let's go with a little satanic. Uh, let's go with Dimu. Uh, Blazing Monoliths of Defiance here on the Haunted Cabaret, Rhode Island Free Radio. <laughs>
All right, that was a little menu, blazing monoliths of defiance. And, uh, yeah, Chuckles, yeah, that was up your alley. Love it. Yeah. Um, then we got Rock and Shock coming up, more metal. Of course, I know that might hate breed. That's a little more. Uh, oh, I like hate breed. Oh, do you? I like hate breed and Lamb of God, and those guys are cool. Okay. I know Lamb of God's not going to be there, but I like those guys. Oh, yeah, hate breed is the headliner. So it, it, uh, There's not too many uh, guests at Rock and Shock that have grabbed me. The only one I really want to see again is George Romero. Otherwise, the rest who, of them. Who is there this yeah. year again? That's yep. the only one that piques my interest. Right, and then uh, Comic Con, that that's got a good lineup this year, right? It does have a very good lineup. It's Yours truly thing. is on the celebrity yeah. page. Well, you're not the first name that came to mind when I said <laughs> good lineup. But no, wow. yes, good yes, lineup. I will. I will recognize you. Yes. Oh, look at that. Nice. Hey, you're enough of a celebrity that they wouldn't let Tony put the table next to you. There you go. Now, I don't want a, my table next to you. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> Virgil doesn't want his table next to you. I don't want <laughs> Virgil next to me. No one wants Virgil next to them. No, Virgil. No, having Virgil's table next to yours would definitely be a step down. You know, it's kind of like uh, what ghettoizing there. Do we uh, have time for a five-second rant on Virgil? I'm trying to round up some hot chicks to hang out at the Rhode Island Free Radio table, so that should help. Wait, no, in that crowd, <laughs> when they see a woman, they run in the other direction. Yeah. Exactly. Mind. They're going to scare them off. No. Remember what happened to the spray bug people? Everybody kept, like, looking and walking. No. Now, now, we know how I feel about Virgil, right? He's a POS. Um, have you recently seen that the son of a bitch is up there on Facebook trying to get money for, through a charity? For what? Not only for does he want money, him. he wants $1 million. So here's yes, a piece he of shit own, like, that told me that something. charity work is for losers, and yet he's up there trying to beg off charity. of an official charity thing. But he's the charity. Yeah. yeah. Because he feels he could be the better million-dollar man. He wants to bring it around, and he wants people to give him a million dollars so he can be the million-dollar man. No, man, you can eat those million dollars and choke on it. You're a piece of shit, man. I ain't giving you $2 Canadian money, never mind American. Which, by the way, the actual million-dollar man, Ted DiBiase, will be at the con this year. Uh-huh. Okay, well, what we can do is we're going to have to cut your rant short because the yep. show is basically coming to an end. But <laughs> talk about appropriate. We can uh, dedicate this last tune to Virgil. Uh, this is Cattle Decapitation of Human Pride and Flatulence. Perfect. Closing out this episode of The Haunted Cabaret with great appropriateness on Rhode Island Free Radio. Nighty night. <laughs>